mostly it was going to shows and you know seeing bands and things that was my musical involvement and then about 18 uh not because i had any skills but i was asked to be in a band uh because it was fun and so i joined with um i ended up playing keyboards and got to play shows in the states and parts of canada and it was fun and uh then as happens sometimes, especially with women, I guess, in music, is you want a family. And uh, so I picked family for a good long time. And uh, now my youngest is 10. And uh, a couple of years ago is when I picked music back up again. Um, well, first, actually, I, it was uh, the punk rock choir. So I was in a, a choir just for something to do because the kids were little still and I couldn't get out much. So just doing a community choir and thought, I don't really like this music very much. Like, it's fun, but... Uh, so jokingly with a friend, we decided, well, wouldn't a punk rock choir be cool? And then the idea just kept being there. And so we made it up. And it didn't mean anything at the time. It was like, what are we going to do? Let's yell. Okay, what else are we going to do? Let's stomp. Okay. A few people showed up to that, and it progressed. Now we're a marching punk rock choir. And um, there's no, it was like that invitation back when I was 18. It doesn't matter if you can play, just show up and figure it out, learn as you go. So that's what the, the spirit of choir was. There was uh, a friend of ours, uh, Laura Hoffman, had an idea to start a band. When Jenny moved to town, she, uh, well, I, I didn't really know her. Although we were in the same punk scene in Victoria, you know, we just, our paths didn't really cross back then. And she said she was starting up a band with a friend of ours, Laura Hoffman. And I thought, wow, that's about as opposite as I can get for, for me to do something like that. I was in there and um, started off on keyboards because I had a background in that. And that was actually, so different from playing classical music. It just, I didn't really know what to do. Really, uh, I think it changed the way we listen to music. Suddenly we had to listen to music, like how are they doing this? How are they doing this? And then, okay, let's time it, let's add, let's do it in G and see what happens. Okay, let's, let's add another, let's add a chorus. I think when you have no expectations, it's super easy to do anything. And we all came into this with no expectations at all other than to have fun. Um, we had no idea it would go as far as it's gone. We just wanted to get together and explore. I would say being a woman in the music scene here has been um, probably quite advantageous, really more so than an obstacle. I think it, you're better off being a woman in the music scene. It, it, in a, in, uh, and I hate to use this word, but it kind of fits in that novelty sense. And I'm torn with that because it shouldn't be a novel. It shouldn't be such a big deal that you have an all-girl band or I mean it should be celebrated but it shouldn't be it, it shouldn't be exceptional that that's going on so on the one hand it's really great you know oh you're in a, an all-girl band yeah that's awesome but you know at some when did I pick up this torch I didn't mean to exactly I just wanted to play in a band but it kind of comes with it the band is definitely creating community and culture. I don't know what would have happened if we hadn't started the band in Powell River. It's the community that came out and people would come out and support whatever we were offering. It was awesome. And, uh, and that was like, yeah, community shaped us.